Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Paige for those of you who are new here. For my subscribers, welcome back. I just want a disclaimer, I talk really fast in my videos. I'm not an ASMR channel by any means. So if that bothers you, I suggest using the slowdown speed and turning on captions because that may help. I'm creating this video as you could tell by the title and the description because I've been taking CBD products for the last year. I had never taken them before. I don't smoke weed. So um, last year when I came across it, it was really wild that it actually was something I ended up liking. So I want to tell you the story of how I discovered it and how I use it and how it's helped me and why I think it's a great product. So let's go back. So about a year ago, just around this time, I'm in New York. I had just gotten back from Florida a few weeks before and I was staying in this gorgeous hotel. Um, I was staying in the ocean. We got upgraded to this gorgeous presidential bridal suite for practically nothing. They just hooked us up, I guess, because it's not really that crowded in the winter, but it was like an enchanting experience. And for whatever reason, I was so depressed and down. I felt like I was just as low as I was 10 years ago when I took myself off of Adderall. So I had not felt that depressed in that long to the point where I actually thought, I need to go to a doctor because something's wrong with me. Like, I shouldn't be feeling this way. Nothing felt right. I felt foggy, like I had a cloud over my head. I felt depressed, like my mood could not go up. I felt like there was nothing positive I could think about. And I should have had positive things to think about because of where I was, because of all the projects I was doing. I had so many great things happening in my life and um, there was just so much to be excited and grateful for, but for whatever reason, I was so down. And I didn't know what to do. I went running, I tried working out in the gym, I was eating healthy, I tried doing it consistently, because usually that takes me out of that mood, and it just wasn't working. Nothing was taking me out of that mood. Working out, eating healthy, it just, nothing. Even watching my favorite shows, playing video games, I was like, I'm just depressed. And it scared me because I had never experienced that level of depression and brain fog, except for when I went off Adderall, that I really thought something's gotta be wrong. So um, I went to the health food store, I picked up a smoothie, and at the register, I saw a sign for a product called CBD. And back then, this was the first time I'd ever seen anything like this. Um, I'd never even heard of it before. So I just figured I would give it a try and do some research. So I went back to my hotel, I took some of the CBD under my tongue, and then within 30 minutes, I felt so much better that I called my mom and I was like, wow, this is really amazing. Like, this stuff actually works. When something works for me, I just become like an evangelist of it. Like, I wanna tell everybody about it because maybe it'll help somebody else. And that's why I have this YouTube channel. It just felt great. It really got rid of that fog that I had. It got rid of that feeling of lowness and that overchattery brain. Like for example, the night before being just over analytical about so much and thinking too much about what people were saying to me and feeling sensitive about things. Like that part of my brain that was focusing on all that just seemed to, that stuff just went away. Like it became unimportant. I did want to still know was something happening biologically in me to cause that issue and how can I prevent that because I didn't want to depend on anything. I want to make sure to understand what's happening at the root of my issues. So at that point I went and I did some research and I found that maybe I had low levels of vitamin D or B12 or folate and I didn't even think that I would have low levels of any of those things because I make sure to get them in my diet like through the food but something must be lacking so I looked at my DNA test and I saw that I have the potential for low folate level. But it's said that folic acid could be really bad for somebody with this mutation, this MTHFR mutation. And it could cause extremely low levels of dopamine and serotonin and lead to mental health issues like depression and bipolar and ADD and ADHD. So I had never even heard of that before, but that's the specific gene that's linked to ADD, if you've ever been wondering. So I read that I have that mutation and I have the one that does most likely cause the most issues with people's folate metabolism and causes very low dopamine levels. So instead, I learned that I have to stay away completely from folic acid and have folate instead. It's easily absorbed into my body and it helps my methylation system. I also take methylated B12 and I take vitamin D. So when I brought those things into my diet, I noticed big changes and I realized that I didn't need this as much. There were still instances where I would get overwhelmed with anxiety like if I had to public speak. Like this event I went to last year and I had to speak at that event and I, even though I was on a panel, it wasn't like I was doing my own presentation, I was so anxious, but this really helped to get rid of all that overthinking I was doing. Now granted, I still felt my heart racing when I was on stage, um, but this helped me greatly reduce the overthinking I was doing. And when I was on stage, I was able to just think so much clearer than I would have before. Like normally I'm overthinking and I'm overthinking while somebody's asking me a question, but with this it was help, it helped me zero in on what somebody was saying and just carefully construct an answer. Um, but like I said, 
because I figured out in my diet what was causing anxiety and depression and brain fog, I have felt so much better in general since then, since figuring that out. So CBD is now just an additional extra supplement that I only take when I really need it. For example, about a week ago, I had to go get my first wisdom tooth pulled, and then I had another one pulled. I had never gotten a tooth pulled in my life, so this felt completely new to me, and I didn't want to get put to sleep with um, anesthesia, so instead I opted for the, uh, I think it's called local anesthesia, it's like Novocaine. I was very nervous. So instead of getting overwhelmed about that, I just took some CBD, and I told the doctor I would take some CBD, and I don't know if that interacts with anything, but he said no, likely shouldn't. and. Um, I was just completely fine and I didn't feel as overthinky and I felt a lot less stressed out. So this really helped me a lot and um, it just took away that edge of like panic that I had. And so when I got it done it was like 15 seconds, tooth was out and it was like, oh wow, I really shouldn't have worried so much. I went to get checked up on the one that I got out first. The doctor was like, wow, you're healing really well. And I read online that so many people get like ruptures and they get infections really easily if take antibiotics, but luckily for me, knock wood, something worked in what I did. So right now I'm taking CBD MD, 1500 milligrams oil. I put it under my tongue and you just need a little teeny tiny drop or the dropper if you need more. Um, I find that I really don't need more than just a couple drops and I, you know, when I do take it, that's, that's just as much as I need. Um, somebody else that might be going through a lot more anxiety and stress might need a little bit more, like a full dropper, but you really won't need more than that. You'll feel the effects. Um, I've tested it to see when I've had extremely stressful anxiety situations, like getting my tooth pulled or being in a like conflict at work, like issues like that. Let's like, you know, I'll give it, I'll be like a test animal and I'll just like give it a shot. Like I'll, I'll try a little bit and see if it works and it's worked for me dramatically in reducing the overthinking that I get when I get stressed out. So for me, it helps keep me in a peaceful state and helps me think rationally and that's great. So I have this as well, which is a lower dose. It's only 300 milligrams and they're gummies and this is more like a vitamin. So I think it's important to look at CBD like a vitamin and not look at it like a drug. It doesn't even bind to the same receptor as weed, like THC binds to. THC binds to the CBD1 receptor, which affects mostly your brain and I believe your lungs and a couple other different areas, and CBD2 receptor, which, uh, or cannabinoid receptor, whatever it's called, the CBD binds to that one, and that affects your immune system and your uh, bowels, like your whatever, your intestines. So if you're having issues with digestion or IBS or Crohn's, or you're dealing with a disease or you, you're, you know, where you might have a suppressed immune system, CBD could be very helpful. And that's probably why so many people that have cancer or even skin cancer find it to be so extremely effective for them. For people that don't really want to take anything, but they would like to get benefits of CBD, maybe for their skin or something like that, these bath bombs are great. I like this one. I have a bunch of them in different flavors and effects, and I just really like it because it absorbs through your skin. Your skin is your largest organ, and things get absorbed through it, so think about that when you use parabens and lotions and things like that. So. You can absorb it through your skin. It's not gonna get you high, like I've said, for any of these products, but it will have benefits on your body and especially on your skin. And I've actually met people who've used CBD, pretty much just the oil, and rubbed it on their skin, and they've seen reductions in moles. They've gotten rid of cancer. I met a guy last year who rented us a boat who said that he completely got rid of his skin cancer by putting CBD oil on it, and I was like, what? When I heard that, I was like, wow, there's so much more to the story. So I highly suggest, highly suggest doing your research and you will learn very quickly that it is not a drug. It is not anywhere close to marijuana. It doesn't get you high and it works almost like a vitamin. It even boosts and stimulates neurogenesis. So if you're a person like me who did a lot of damage with medications like Adderall or tried things like phenylalanine by itself, which is an isolated amino acid um, that boosts dopamine, and if you do stuff like that, it could cause cell death in your brain and can be neurotoxic. Um, neurogenesis, the creation of new neurons, is very healing for somebody who's dealt with that. So I highly suggest trying it out and reading about the other amazing benefits of this wonderful, wonderful new thing. So I'll put a link in the description to this particular one that I'm using right now. This is CBDMD. And I, I just think it's great because it's like 
high grade, high quality, and it's a good amount of milligrams so that you're not taking a very small amount throughout the whole day. Instead, you just take a little bit when you really feel like you need it. And they have other ones for people that want lower milligrams, like the gummies, or even like this body one, which is 100 milligrams. So I hope this, this helped you guys decide whether you want to try CBD, but it, I don't think it can hurt anybody, so I definitely suggest it. And I just want to remind everyone, it is not marijuana, it's not a drug could come from a completely different plant like you can extract it from hemp that has no weed on it um, it's awesome and it's just it's great to have new products coming out that are actually healing and not just synthetic like folic acid which is something that seems gentle like a vitamin that's in cereals and milks and stuff like that it's fortified people add it into foods to make it more nutritious but it can harm people with a certain mutation like I have and most people don't know they have that mutation unless they get a DNA test so you know, not to get too off track, but this is something natural. It's not synthetic and it's extremely just easy on the body. So I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. And before I go, thanks for watching again and please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you watched this video and you liked it and feel, felt like you learned something new, even if it was just one little thing, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment if you want to share any of your own experiences with CBD or insights into different products that you think I might like. I always appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!